It's been quite a while since I've actually sat at my workbench uh, because I've been decorating and doing loads of different stuff that doesn't involve danger and death and God knows what. Actually, no. I did a zip line thing down the side of Snowdonia uh, only last week. Cracked myself. It was fantastic. <laughs> anyway, these are the circuit breakers that I've got for version 3 which are 125 amp circuit breakers two of them I've got to do it this way because I can't find a 300 amp circuit breaker so I'll have one for initial fire up um, where all the electronics and everything else will come on because the surge will only be around about 30 amps I think it is and then for running I'll have both of them enabled so hopefully that'll work. Now I've also got some uh, nickel strip uh, which I've had for quite a while. This is actually 0.2 mil, which I think is going to be too thick. I've got my battery connectors for the spot welder and I've had to buy one. The one that I was going to make out of the um, the microwave transformer, it's a bit it miss, and I need something so as I can do it properly. So this is the Arduino one, and with it you get a pedal. You get your welding cables with the ends on them. You can make some more of those if it goes uh, if they start melting. Easy enough. Uh, some 3D printed casing. The Arduino thing itself. And this one is the fuse. It's a 300 amp fuse, which is going to come in very handy. And a battery connector. Don't need the box. All comes ready assembled. You can actually buy this in kit, in kit form, so you can make your own. Um, but uh, you know the the cost of it is not really worth buying all the bits and then assembling it. So yeah, there's that connectors. 300 amp fuse, yeah, 300 amp fuse. Come out, come out. I need that. You get a fan with it as well. Connectors. A knob, can't have too many knobs. So I'm going to say I'm going to assemble it. I'm not going to be able to use it today purely because I haven't got anything set up. Actually, I have got something set up. Hang on. This is the Litacala uh, 4S 2P battery that I made. Uh, ten thousand, is ten? Yeah, ten thousand milliamp battery. This was my test battery that I soldered all the wires, everything's been soldered up. So I'm going to strip that down and I'm going to do that, uh, I'm going to use the nickel strips to do it instead. This is my fourth battery, my tattoo battery. This I'm going to strip down, I'm going to make it into two 3S batteries in parallel for the welder. In here there's a PCB and all the cells, the positive and the negatives, are actually connected directly to this cell, this battery, this, this PCB up the top. So what I'm going to do, possibly, I'll, I'll take it apart and I'll show you how to do it. Don't worry. I'll take it apart and I'll strip it and I don't know how yet, but I'm going to make this into two 3S batteries. So I'm going to put this together and then I'll come back. In the destructions it tells you to put a screw through here 
and then put your put your nylon uh, washers uh, bolt nuts that's the one Tony they're nuts washers are different uh, you put your nylon nuts on there well the easy way to do it although it doesn't show you on the destructions and it should do if you split that it makes it a lot easier to put them on so you put those on there like I've just taken a part for little things I don't know why but there's little things like this which I'd, I'd made sure if I was designing it I'd make sure that those things were already on because they've got to go on anyway it's just part of I don't know so anyway you put those on and then you have to unscrew them a bit like that they're already done that one isn't done so I've got to unscrew that and then I've got to put some on the bottom to retain it I thought I'd show you that because there'll be some people sitting there trying to get nuts and bolts through bloody holes that don't work and then end up throwing it through the window and then you have to buy a new window which isn't very good especially if the missus likes the window in the first place well it's together I'm only running it off a very small 12 volt battery at the minute because I haven't done my other one which I will be doing um, this here controls the pulse width and then you've got a menu there you go um, I've still got to wire up the uh, the foot switch I've still got to wire up no I haven't I've, I've got to test it obviously well, these, these are the probes <laughs> God, I know it won't hurt. But there's there's loads of um, there's loads of options on here. Uh, battery alarm. You can set the cut off voltage of the battery alarm. Short pulse, which is the I think that's the warm up thing. Which uh, what it does is it's supposed to clean the terminals. It just pulses very shortly, just to. Um, clean up the surface to give it something to go by and there's also another menu which is a uh, you have to hold the I think you hold the reset button in when you switch it on I don't know so what I'm going to do now obviously we've got the 300 amp fuse which is there and we've got one terminal there and one terminal over here which is right by my testicles <laughs> oh god so the next job is take this thing apart which I'm going to do in another video because this is going to take quite a while to strip all this down because there's loads of tape and god knows what around these things they're a nightmare um, I'm not going to be using a car battery or anything because I've got a lipo connector on here I may as well just use the lipo connector plus which one of these is spare so I'm not buying any more batteries I've got loads of batteries I've got too many batteries and then this one is my test uh, test subject which I'm going to strip down and see if I can uh, do it properly I've got some other uh, nickel wire coming which is the um, 0.15 mil this is 0.2 which according to Andy link in the description to Andy's channel I forgot to mention Andy's got the same one of these and he's been messing around he's the guinea pig and he's been swearing a lot which I didn't think Andy did but <laughs> thanks Andy for doing all the testing and everything else I'm just gonna put this in the cupboard until you've completely blown yours up or blown something up and then I'll do mine cheers mate anyway links in the description for this buy one they're not very easy to put together that's the first thing it took me a couple of hours to get it all done but you know hey ho fingers crossed it'll all work 
Now we may. Mmm. Doubtful. 